Balance in radiators is obviously extremely important, so we need to have a method that's a bit better than just a quarter turn, half a turn. This is where a laser thermometer comes into its works. First of all, we go around the house and we write down on the pad every single radiator that's installed. We make a column top centre and bottom centre. And as we go around the house, we'll turn on every control valve and every lock shield valve to full. We go to the boiler, we turn the boiler thermostat on the highest setting and the room thermostat on the highest setting so there's a demand. What we'll do first is we're going to warm up the house for the minimum 10 minutes. If it's a larger house, that's going to take 15 minutes. Then we'll take an impression of the radiators and then write it down in the book. And then we'll do the flow and returns as well. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll shine the laser onto the top centre and we'll get a reading, write it down. Bottom centre, take a reading, write it down. We go right around the house to find out which radiator is overheating and underheating. So obviously we're going to turn down the one that's too hot. Now bearing in mind that radiators more than two meters wide will be a lot colder in the bottom center than one that's only just a meter or even less. So we have to take that into consideration. Also, we're going to be doing flow and returns. So we'll look at the flow temperature, write it down, the return temperature, write it down. And that should be around 10 to 12 degrees C difference. When we go to the boiler, that's about 20, 22, 23 degrees difference between the flow and the return temperature. And sometimes certain boiler manufacturer can give you that information on the display by pressing a few buttons. So have a look in the manual to see if that's even more accurately. So now all we're going to do is find the radiator that's overheating, cut it down a little bit on the lock shield side, and the radiator that's underperforming or underheating will naturally go up. If we find that the centre of the radiator in one particular radiator is a little bit colder or lower numbers, that needs investigation. It could be sludge, it could be maybe that the lock shield valve fitted isn't quite fully open and we've had that many, many times. You turn it on but the valve is still saying off or half off. But it's saying investigate. So this is where a laser thermometer is absolutely brilliant. Apart from balancing radiators, a laser thermometer is absolutely brilliant for hot water. We need to make sure that this boiler hot water output is correctly managed to the boiler manufacturer's requirements. Most of the time I find the hot water thermostat on maximum. This is a complete waste of money. We don't need scalding 65 degree water in July or most of the year. But the way we test it is simple. We turn the hot water thermostat down to the lowest setting and it will usually read 35 degrees C. So now what we'll do is we'll turn on the hot tap and give the boiler maybe 30 seconds to a minute to stabilise and then provide the temperature. So we don't shine it in the water, we shine it into the base. And gradually we can see that within just a few seconds, because it's only a short distance between the two, this is reading exactly 35 degrees, which means that the boiler output, the domestic heat exchanger, the sensors, everything is working perfectly. And this is how we do the lowest temperature. Then we'll demand maybe 45, 50 degrees, and we'll read that on the display, and then maximum 60, 65 degrees, and then again, we'll read that. So that means that the heat exchanger is perfect. If we find that the water is too hot at any time, then I would suspect either the sensors are out of sync, so one or two, both of them maybe need replacing, and more than likely the domestic heat exchanger wants replacing maybe a flush and then do that. Do not descale domestic heat exchangers. Always replace, check the gas pressures, check the flow rate to the manufacturer specifications. This boiler will be brilliant. And that's a laser thermometer. It's the really best tool to do this job.